Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel IT Tech. This is our jQuery course related 7 tutorial, and in this course you are going to learn the keyboard events of jQuery. Here we have three types of keyboard events in jQuery, key press, key down and key up. Key press and key down both work the same. There is no difference between them. What do they mean? As soon as he presses the key, the event will be triggered. And as soon as he presses the keyboard button, the key up event will be triggered. So let's see it practically here. Here we have created a basic HTML document in our editor. This is the same document as we used in the previous video tutorial. See above. Here we have taken a heading and inside it. Look here. We have put a box in it. There is also a wedding, but we have created a basic HTML document in our editor. This is the same document as we used in the previous video tutorial. Look at the top. Here we have taken a heading and inside it, look here, we have added a box. It also has a subheading and a paragraph. Look here. We have done its CSS here. Below there is an H1 tag. Here is our ID. Look at this. Below, we have also added a jQuery file with which we are going to test this jQuery. So look here, I first add my script tag, and inside it, I am going to use my keyboard event. So first, we add the basic jQuery code. Here, inside the document. Ready function, we create a function here. First, I will use my event, which is called key press. So first of all we put this basic code here inside the document.ready function. We create our own function here. First of all I will use my own event, which is called key press. Where will I put it? I put it on the body, meaning as soon as the document is open, I press any key on the keyboard anywhere. Here I take the body because the body is our tag, and inside it it became our selector, and after that I put a dot and write my event which is called key press. Look I wrote it. Now inside it I create a function and here I see the braces have come. After that I put a semicolon here. Now what do I want to do inside this key press event? I want the color of the body to change, so for that I will write here. I will create a selector and write body in it because I want the color of the body to change. Here I want to tell you one more thing, which I did not tell you in the previous video tutorial, that as you saw here we have set an event here, meaning we have set a key press event on the body. We set the green color, now I will show you the exact opposite of it, which is called up, look, I pasted it here, and here I will write my event, which is called up, which is exactly the opposite of it, as we press, this color will be set as soon as I release it, meaning I will do it, then see the color here, save the file here, 
Now see, I press the key. See, it has turned green. And see, I have kept it pressed. I have not released it yet. It is blue. And as soon as I release it, see, it has turned green. I am pressing the key again. See the key of the name A, which is on the keyboard. See, I have kept it pressed. I have not released it yet. As soon as I release it, it turns green. So you can see how you are pressing the key and the key up. There is one key down. I will also show you using this. So see, I saved the file here and I press a key. See, as soon as I release it, it is happening that you have kept it down by choice. I have not released it yet. Its key is orange. As I released it, it turned green. If you put this in the keyboard, you will see. See, I am constantly typing as if I am printing. So whatever it is, these were our events. Now, press the key and press the key. I will tell you about it in the next video. Form events. Thanks watching my video. Subscribe, like, and comment.